This terrapin has not been eating for five days. Today is February 9, 2019. You can see that he has difficulty in breeding and the eyes, eyelids are closed most of the time and you can see there's a stretching of the neck, extending the neck upwards to breathe through the nostril so the red ear saddle is also very lethargic, it doesn't move much and uh, it, the owner is worried about this respiratory infection as you can see every few seconds he will lift up his neck, extend his neck and breathe deeply. Now this is not normal and he's inactive, he doesn't move, he doesn't walk. He's about four to six months old. He used to be eating 10 to 20 pellets a day, but the last five days he's not eating anything. The owner had another red ear slider, also with all this patches of stickers and uh, also abandoned by somebody in the white deck of the HDB the housing development bought flats she adopted them the other one had this similar problem resp respiratory distress and then died the next day so with this one not eating five days she is more concerned and uh, bring bring him to the vet to for treatment now the earlier the better but five days is quite long and you can see there's some gasping of the mouth and uh, this red ear cider had been in the water for the past four months with some two or three peppers in the tank which is which which are not sufficient for him to come out to bask so he developed a respiratory tract infection the signs are mouth breathing, gasping, lethargy, loss of appetite and as you can see when you turn, turn it upside down it doesn't, it's too weak and too lethargic to, to upright, to turn back upright again. This shows that he's very sick, very sick and uh, the best is not to submerge him in water 24 hours and let him have some time to dry up so that's what we are doing now to let him dry up but you have sunlight but not too long the best is about one hour or two hours of the morning light as you stop now we are putting him in patient today is day one you can see really he's in a bad shape otherwise the owner would not bring him here for treatment now whether this is a male or female, let me have a quick look. Now in in the male, the lower shell should be concaved. Now there's a bit of a concavity here. So this this part is a bit shallow. So most likely this is a male. And uh, it's hard to tell at this age. Normally the claws, the front claws are longer but this one looks like very much underweight and underdeveloped so it's hard to say that exactly that this is a male or female. Look at the vent, the vent if it's nearer to the, sh to the edge of the shell is a female. As you can see that uh, it's really hard to tell. So for the, in the meantime, we will trick him first. Definitely no more submersion in water 24 hours a day. We will drain him up and give him sunlight, vitamins, ADE, and uh, strange feeding of critical care and pellets for the next three days. 